Alrighty, hello everyone. Today I am going to be doing the story quest for the Raiden Shogun. So let's see. Here we are. Chapter Act 2. Okay, here we are. Now I've done a quest before that I thought was a story quest, but it was much shorter. It was more like a let's catch up on what's happened since the Archon quest type thing. But this is the actual story quest, so it should be much longer. I'm kind of excited. Add Astra Abyssosk. Recently, the Adventurer's Guild has received an unusual commission, and after careful consideration, we believe that... The Traveler would be the most suitable candidate, right? <laughs> Indeed, as ever. I will spare the pleasantries, then. May I ask if you two are available to help? Well, let me go over it briefly. Our client for this job is the Yashiro Commission. Apparently, Rift Towns are attacking the roots of the Sacred Sakura nearby Mount Yogo in great numbers. Rift Towns? On Narukami Island? Yes. We are not sure where exactly these creatures come from. But this time, they are attacking in alarming numbers with great aggression and a clear target. The Sacred Sakura is of tremendous importance to Inazuma. I trust you are aware of this already? Good. Then you can see that this case is very urgent indeed. Is the Tenryu Commission aware? Yes, and they are already taking action of their own. However, given that the Sacred Sakura's root system is vast and complex, and faced with the unpredictability and scale of the Rift Town's attacks, they are finding it difficult to defend against them. Their main priority is to protect the civilian population, so they are actively looking to cooperate with all other available forces to eliminate the monsters. The Adventurer's Guild is one of the key parties assisting the Tenryo Commission with their work. But so far, the combined efforts to combat the Rift Towns has failed to substantially ameliorate the situation. You have our deepest gratitude. Your confident response puts me far more at ease. I will mark on your map the areas where Rift Town appearances have been recently reported. I hope you won't encounter too much trouble overcoming them. Relax! We'll be back before you can say Ad Astra Abyssosk! The Sacred Sakura is in danger again, huh? Who'd have thought? Keep it up! I hate it when, like, I don't realize that Paimon is, like, about to continue talking, and then I do something like that, and then it cuts her off and doesn't, like, continue. I feel bad. I have to prepare, though, because I've dealt with these before, unfortunately, and they are a pain in the ass. Um, let's see. I'm so glad that, like, the farther I go into the main story of the game, the more recipes I get, because, I don't know, I just wish there were more recipes. They're, like, one of the most useful things that there is, for real. Sometimes I'll finish, like, a domain or something, and I'll completely forget that I could just go to a statue of the seven and completely heal all of my characters. And then I'll end up wasting some of my uh, dishes. And I'm like, no, why did I do that? <sighs> okay, let's see. No, I need to save my uh, Sakura Blossoms for Ayato's Ascension. So let me not use that in a dish, please. It's hard to sometimes. It's hard to like... 
I don't know what I was gonna say. Let's see what I can get from this dude. Ooh, you restaurant? Ooh, you restaurant? That place isn't even worth mentioning. Yeah, that's what he was gonna say, because that's all he ever says. Uh, why not? I have a bunch of more, so I might as well. I never have enough seagrass. Never. I used to have a lot of lavender melons, but I think I got a recipe that used them. And I used that recipe, like, a lot. And then suddenly, I was broke on lavender melons. So, it didn't really make a difference in my options. So, like, one of the first things I thought of when I learned that I could, like, cook in the game and make dishes and such, I was so excited. I really was, but it is kind of a pain trying to unlock the auto-cook function for each dish. Okay, I need some potions. I'm definitely going to need quite a few of these. Uh, yeah... I don't like that. I don't like that I'm struggling with this. Let's see, I can make two of these. Well, I can still make two of those, so I don't feel as bad, but... Yeah. Oh, I definitely need some of these. Potions are so important. And it's something that I, like, never used before I got to, like, towards the end of Leeway. And I don't know why, because they're so important. Um... Alright, that's enough potions for now. Let's see. I'm just gonna look and see if there's anything else I can make, because I know I'm working on some stuff. Like, I have... I don't know. I have Yanfei to worry about. I have... Um, Ayato that I need to finish. It's just a whole thing. That's for John Lee. I don't even need that. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. Okay, okay, forget that. I'm done. I'm done with that. Um, let's just continue on with the story quest. Let's just get right into it. I can only prepare but so much, so... If you ever want to
That is a huge one. Oh my lord. Look at that thing. I don't think I've never I've never dealt with that big. I know that voice. Shogun? Wait, no. Could also be A. Hmm. It's you two. It has been a long time. We have not seen each other since the resolution of the Tenryo Commission crisis. Okay, sounds more like A. It is you, right? You sure made short work of them. That was amazing. I'm making early preparations for what is to come. Last time we took a walk around Inazuma together, I witnessed the way the world is today. I was finally able to comprehend some things that I had never understood in the past. Since then, every time I encounter an obstacle in my thinking, I find myself having the urge to spend some time in the outside world. Makes sense. You must get super bored being stuck in there all the time. Might I remind you that I am not here to amuse myself. Recently, I have observed a number of changes in the external world from the plane of Euthymia. The most serious of these being the attack on the sacred Sakura by numerous rift towns. I considered this matter worthy of my attention, so I pursued them, and they led me here, where I happened to run into you. If the Shogun rather than I were to discover them, Yes. Perhaps she would have left the situation alone. Hmm? Why? Because she's just a puppet? Precisely. According to the rules I designed for her, matters of this nature are to be delegated to the Tri-Commission. But Rift Hounds attacking the sacred Sakura... <sighs> it brings back bad memories of that terrible disaster. A disaster? Yes. Five hundred years ago, a great catastrophe befell Inazuma. Everything was engulfed in a pitch-black fog, and monsters ravaged the land. Countless lives were lost, and this homeland that the people had worked so hard to build barely escaped being obliterated entirely. The monsters committed many atrocities on Inazuman soil, and the Rift Hounds were always their advance guard. Their duty was to tear open a passage through space with their claws and teeth, and then call in even more powerful beasts. Hmm. So you've heard of it, too. That's an episode of history that I am loath to recall. Maybe to you, it seems like my response to these creatures was an excessive one. But an excess of caution is not unwarranted in this case. Guess you can't argue with that. Since we are both here for the same reason, let us work together. 
From the traces they've left in the surrounding area, there should be many more monsters nearby. All of them must be eliminated. Paimon feels so safe when we're in Ace Company. Having someone uber powerful on your team kind of makes you feel invincible, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. After we've dealt with the monsters, we should ask her to tell us more about Conria. The same color! It's similar to the color when the Sacred Sakura takes damage! Let's follow it. It should be this way! We are lucky. The damage is not too serious. The Yashiro Commission will be able to nurse the root system back to health. This stuff that's flowing out, is it sap or something? And how come it's glowing? Search the area. Perhaps we will find out. Uh, uh, I can't go on like this. Not when the other troops are counting on me. What happened here? Could you tell us? Who are you? What are you doing here? Run quick while you still can. The monsters will be back. And once you're in their sights, I'm telling you, there's no escaping them. We will defend Inazuma until our dying breath. You... you don't know? Inazuma is engulfed in darkness. Beasts and horrifying monsters are everywhere. They're merciless, ferocious, and they will devour everything in their path. Every last trace of humanity's existence, I tell you. They'll devour it all. But, look, none of that seems to be going on around here. Not right now, but they'll be back. Look, get out of here, now. There's no time left. The Almighty Shogun is gone. So is Kitsune Saigu. There is no one left to rely on but ourselves. I don't know how long we can hold out for. But if we abandon our hope, then we've got nothing left at all. Don't worry, I'm right here. It's... the Shogun? You're back! Please, we beg you. You have to help us. You have to save Inazuma. Only the glow of your supreme lightning can dispel this terrible darkness. Please or the whole of Inazuma will be reduced to a hunting ground for the beasts. Calm down. The war you speak of is over. Over? But... what do you mean? Shogun? Look around you. The grass grows green and lush, and a soft breeze blows. This is Inazuma at peace, as you will no doubt remember. There are no monsters. Nor is there anything else here that could threaten your life. What? B but how? Just moments ago, they were everywhere. I saw them tear my comrade to shreds with my own eyes. Hey, calm 
calm down. Everything's fine now. Huh. I think I understand. Almighty Shogun, you saved Inazuma. <laughs> yes, we were right to place our trust in the Almighty Shogun. As long as the Shogun is with us, Inazuma will last for an eternity. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you, thank you. What's wrong with him? He's gone. Paimon can't even begin to understand what that was all about. But somehow, Paimon feels all sad and hopeless. If I am not mistaken, what we just saw was a samurai's memory that was buried in the land. The sacred Sakura can absorb and purify the filth in the ley lines. After the Rift Hounds attacked, some of this filth leaked out through the cracks in the trunk and formed a physical entity. An entity formed with strong filth would be highly aggressive. But when purified, it presents in the form of a memory. Purified filth quickly dissipates and will be absorbed by the ley lines shortly afterwards. In other words, it cannot exist for too long. So the memories of the ones that died are all appearing at this moment? Yes. That soldier was one of the many thousands who made the ultimate sacrifice. What he was describing just now was precisely the disaster that happened in Inazuma 500 years ago. Yes. Inazuma was facing many great crises at that time. Some were local in origin, while others... <sighs> others came from the now fallen kingdom of Kanria. The disaster in Inazuma caused me great concern. I felt that I had to step in before it was too late, otherwise it would spread to all of Tevat. But my friend, Kitsune Saiku, reassured me that I had nothing to worry about. She would shoulder the responsibility of protecting Inazuma and mobilize all forces at her disposal to combat the threat. I could tell that, although neither of us acknowledged it, we both knew that the road ahead would likely end in tragedy. So, Inazuma was attacked at the same time as when the disaster happened in Kanria? Indeed. Countless monsters suddenly appeared throughout all of Inazuma. In the end, Kitsune Saigu sacrificed her life to protect the people. I never had the chance to see her one last time. But I would like to believe that she kept her promise to me until the very last. But even then, Inazuma was left more devastated than we could have ever imagined. Those terrible tragedies left great wounds that are still felt to this day, both on the land itself and in my heart. Hey. Yes. For the longest time, I couldn't bring myself to face the pain of that loss. All my martial might was in vain. Though I could conquer Tatarigami and vanquish monsters, I was helpless against the ravages of time, powerless to keep the ones I cherished alive. <sighs> but, after my clash with human ambition, I thought long and hard. Now I realize I cannot fixate on the past forever. When I traveled around Inazuma with you, I caught a glimpse of how the nation has progressed over the centuries. A glimpse of human potential. Everything far exceeded my expectations. Moving forward inevitably invites further loss, but also new encounters. Just think of that soldier. Despite all the losses he had experienced, he still chose to keep fighting for the sake of moving forward. All those who sacrificed themselves back then gave their lives fighting for a future. But perhaps the future they were hoping for 
is not the eternity that I once strove for. As Inazuma's god, it is high time I honored their wishes. Warriors of the past who spilled your blood on this land, your noble souls now rest in this earth. I will never forget you and all that you did for Inazuma. He's taking all this pretty hard. <sighs> Come on. Let's keep investigating the damage to the sacred Sakura. Would you ask that? Well, usually you'd pull out your sword and swish! Vaporize them all in one go, no? You are unduly concerned. I'm simply conserving my energy. Although I have some understanding of the situation already, it could take an unexpected turn at any time. I must be prepared for anything. If there are more formidable monsters lying in wait in this area, I must make sure I have the strength to face them. Like a seasoned shogun. The roots seem pretty badly damaged this time. We definitely need to tell the Yashiro Commission about this. Hey, the same light is leaking out again. <sighs> Furuyama? Is that you? Hmm? Almighty oh, Shogun, what brings you back so soon? I thought you were off fighting a battle in a distant land. Fighting a battle in a distant land? Sounds like this guy's talking about 500 years ago, too. Allow me to introduce Furuyama. He is a tea master and a member of my retinue. Though blind, Furuyama is unparalleled in his ability to appraise tea. He brews some of the very finest tea in all of Inazuma. Your Excellency, you shower me with praise undeserved. I have simply had the good fortune to be in Your Excellency's presence long enough to become acquainted with all the skills that are required of me. It sounds like the Almighty Shogun has brought a guest. I'm afraid I'm unable to serve you any respectable refreshments on account of the current situation, but please, Sit and rest. After all, it's quite a mess out there. Um, what should we do? Oh, um, yeah. Sheesh. There's monsters everywhere out there. It's pitch black and loads of people have been injured. I see. So, they have fought their way this far already. Most of the residents in this neighborhood have already escaped. They wanted to take me with them, but it seemed rather pointless to me. So, I decided to stay. And now the almighty Shogun is here, I have even less reason to run away. <laughs> Imagine! 
imagine if this was something that even the almighty Shogun was powerless to resolve? Where could I possibly run to then? People flee out of a desire to live on, and the desire to live on stems from a feeling of having unfinished business in life. But me, I have no such thoughts, and I have no regrets. The almighty Shogun often speaks to me about her dreams over tea. Just listening to her stories, ah. I've been blind for many years, but her vivid descriptions took me on a splendid journey to all the most beautiful places in Inazuma. Over time, I've come to understand her mindset. Quite the romantic at heart, a true dreamer. One thing she always says is, good things don't last forever. Everything changes, fades, disappears completely over the passage of time. And so people must make the most of the life they have, seize the chance to enjoy it while it lasts, and have no regrets in the end. So you see, as bleak as things may be now, I have experienced countless wonderful things in life and have no reason not to be satisfied. Perhaps you are right. It won't be long now before I have to say goodbye to the almighty Shogun for the last time. Ah, what a pity. I'll never get to see what Inazuma looks like after the Almighty Shogun rebuilds it anew. But I suppose it doesn't matter. Everyone says that Inazuma has turned dark now. But to me, it went dark a long time ago. Once this catastrophe is over, life is sure to spring forth anew. But even if I survived until then, I'd probably be a hopelessly befuddled old so-and-so by then. <laughs> so, never mind, eh? <sighs> oh, goodness me. Speaking of befuddled, look at me rambling away to my heart's content and forgetting to serve the tea. The almighty Shogun comes to visit and I don't have the tea ready. A truly egregious loss of decorum. One moment, I'll just... Hmm? Where in the world is the tea set? I hope the others didn't smash it to smithereens in their hasty departure. Hmm. Can't see a tea set anywhere around here. Really? But it's always been right by my side. Goodness gracious. What a fool I'm making of myself. I couldn't possibly have my guests fetch it themselves. That would be most discourteous indeed. Don't worry about it. Take a rest. We'll be back right away. Almighty Shogun, you're not going too, are you? No, no, no. Your humble servant implores you, not with the war raging outside. This place is... complicated. It's quite unlike the tea house in your memories. Leave it to us. But... Well, okay. I never thought I'd see the day that I need the almighty Shogun to personally collect my tea set for me. I can't decide whether it's a final regret or a final stroke of good fortune. <laughs> isn't exactly the most urgent thing to do right now, but at the same time, this lovely old man from 500 years ago has been through so much, and it makes Paimon so sad. I'm not so Oh, why don't we go to the Kamisato estate? There'll definitely be a tea set we can borrow there. <laughs>
It's the Traveler. And the Almighty Shogun. How might I be of assistance, Your Excellency? I wish to borrow a tea set from the Yashiro Commission. Oh, uh, sure. I'll fetch that for you right away. Uh, please step into the courtyard and have a rest, Almighty Shogun. Oh, and I'll inform my lord about your visit immediately. Ah, and the tea set. I'll bring that here as soon as it's ready. Be at ease. I'm not here to see Commissioner Kamisato. Actually, I'd prefer to spend this time chatting with the Traveler. Please, fetch the tea set at your convenience. Uh, no, no, no. I am your humble servant. I daren't think of my own convenience when the Almighty Shogun graces me with her presence. I'll deal with it right away. Well, it's not often we have the chance to chat. I'm sure you must have a lot of questions. Right. Paimon wanted to ask that too. The Almighty Shogun that he described didn't sound anything like you at all. I seldom had the time to drink tea. <laughs> Any free time I had was spent practicing martial arts. So, in the vast majority of cases, the one he made tea for was the former Electro Archon, who was also my sister, Raiden Makoto. He may well have had an inkling about there being two Raiden Shoguns, but he always acted as if he was completely unaware of it. The philosophy of life that he shared with us just now, that was Makoto's view on reality. She always saw things that way. You and Makoto had pr Indeed we did. It was the biggest difference between us. In her eyes, the most precious things in this world were dreams. The yearning for a better future held by living beings. They are similar, but not identical. When you came charging into the plain of Euthymia, I saw human aspirations light up the sky far above in the form of countless stars. This somewhat shook me. Now, it seems like she was right. While I took the wayward path. Wow, there sure was a lot going on beneath the surface. Makoto saw a bigger picture than I did. In her view, a dream is more imaginary, more abstract than an ambition. An ambition is a yearning for something material or a concrete outcome. It is finite in nature and will be replaced by a new ambition in due course. Makoto was more concerned with the force that drives humans to constantly generate new ambitions in the first place. It is something innate, rooted in instinct. In other words, it is something eternal. That's... Uh, quite a lot to take in. To put it simply, Makoto wasn't concerned about outcomes. I didn't understand at the time. How can we say that we are maintaining eternity when things are constantly moving forward and evolving? I suppose what it comes down to is the definition of eternity she set out with. Yes, it does. <laughs> I always thought that she must have grasped some elusive, arcane wisdom to arrive at the conclusions she did. But in the last analysis, Makoto's philosophy was, on the surface at least, an elegantly simple one. Notwithstanding that it was also the more prudent choice, based on a more mature, far-sighted outlook. Do you feel you're starting to understand her better now? You have already witnessed my previous views on eternity, but now... I no longer cling to what was lost. <laughs> I suppose that means our differences have been reconciled. Almighty Shogun, I found a tea set. This one in particular should be fit for your excellency's use. It's quite beautiful. Thank you. You are too kind. A humble servant such as I does not deserve the gratitude of the Almighty Shogun. It's all good, sir. She's actually pretty chill. 
Let us return. We ought not keep Furuyama waiting too long. I feel so bad that everyone treats her so professionally. Like, yeah, she's literally a god, and she's the... She's their shogun, but at the same time, it's like... I would get sick of it so quickly. Like, you don't have to... I don't know what it is. You don't have to treat her that... Unhuman-like. Even though she's technically not human, she's a god, but... You know what I mean. 